What's up, fight fans? This is Ami Pulley Typhunk here. What's up, everybody? How are we all doing today? I'm with a special guest. It's Von Klug, our director of social media. How you doing, Von Klug? I'm doing very, very fine. I'm so excited for this. You're looking sharp, my man. That's the the Same tie. It's so shine. <laughs> Witness. It's so shiny. <laughs> so shiny. Witness man, us. Man. Witness. Hell yeah. Are you guys uh, yeah. psyched? <laughs> uh. I'm psyched, man. This is the beginning of Operation Charlie Fox. We're about to kick this thing off. This is going to be the opening ceremony. Let the games begin, man. We are officially Ooh. underway. We've been cranking up to this event for like two months now. We've raised $5,153.52. This is like the biggest, the biggest ever event in Company of Heroes history. So let's let's it, kick it off right. It let's is. Do this. Yes, yesterday morning we surpassed Sunday Night Fight Season Five, which was a total cash and hardware prize pool of five thousand and five dollars for SNF Five, and we are now past that, and we are Special. now the largest uh, prize event in the history of the franchise. Whoop! Hype! <laughs> Hells yeah! So we're really excited about that, and it's all thanks to hundreds of contributors to KOTU.org. You guys have been lighting it up. The flag has been going broop, and the unlocks have been going ching, 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 ching. Raking in the monies, raking in the cash, all for this. Oh man, I can't believe we actually made it to 5k. I Martin's know. Gonna be, Martin's going to be very, 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 how do you say it? Very excited, I guess. <laughs> excited he's gonna, or uh, yeah. scared or uh, scared, excited. I don't, I don't even care. But he's gonna eat that soap. The, the like, story on that, guys, is I was in uh, just some random chat, who knows what, watching Twitch streams like we do, watching Company of Heroes uh, about two, uh, about a month ago. And you know, our stretch goals at that time maxed out at like two grand or something. And Barton says in Twitch chat, if we reach 5K, I'll eat a bar of soap. <laughs> And I said to him back, a whole bar of soap, and he said, I'll do my best. And I took a screenshot of it, because that's what we <laughs> punks do that we're, when we're in Twitch chat, is we screenshot the nonsense that people say so that we can <laughs> take it out of context and hold it against them later. And so I posted it on trending, and it went right up you know, through the roof, got tons of trending upvotes, and, and you know, then you know, it was like a snowball. The momentum started rolling, and then I added it as an official stretch goal at the top of the flag. Yeah. But, He's but nobody it's thought so we would get there. I mean, we never imagined that. When we first proposed this event to you guys, we were hoping to raise 2K, you know, so we could at least, like, have a $1,000 prize pool and match our Dr. Vox event from December of last year. And we have just totally destroyed that. We have over 5K now. The first place prize is going to be over $2,500. We're talking G's. Second place, you get 1250 bucks at least. And then we're paying out three uh, more places after that we got a third place fourth fifth and sixth place prizes all to be paid out that's so to amazing. our winners it's so amazing it's pretty sick and you know yeah. this is what will really inspire these guys to try to knock each other's brains out um, uh, in the upcoming days we got the open qualifier tournament tomorrow and we had 593 signups for this thing I just closed the signups last night at around midnight GMT and 593 of you snuck into this to the spreadsheet it's I, gonna be very 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 busy I think over 500 plates holy shit yeah we might it's... have like a round of 512 it's gonna be nuts uh, so that starts tomorrow and uh, we're gonna have a lot of different casters covering it on a lot of different channels that'll start also at this same time at 1500 GMT tomorrow right now uh, the open qualifier rounds will start. We're going to have eight or nine casters broadcasting. What we're going to do is they're going to follow top players and top seeds, you know, like Cruzy, like Barton, like DevM, like these guys. They're going to follow these guys through their tournament so we can kind of watch it from their perspectives and, and root for, you know, maybe Hansy. Hansy's streaming right now. It's cool. You know, for this event tonight, we're gonna, we might have multiple streams going. So you guys can choose uh, which you want to watch or you can duo screen it and watch everything at once. Um, Tomorrow's going to be crazy fun. We just put a news post up on the portal. You players, 
definitely check. There's new rules, you know, we got bands going, we announced the map list, and so we're trying to make this tournament, you know, the most fun and the most fair and the most interesting that it can be, and so we had to make a lot of tough decisions last night as some, um, you know, like bugs were discovered and stuff. Like, how do we deal with those and how do we still, like, allow Brits to be played in OCF, which we, which we gotta have. I mean, the Comet is the poster boy for the tournament, so, you know, we can't just chuck all the Brits. You know, this is all celebrating the launch of the Brits, so uh, we, we made some fine-tuning. We banned a unit, an ability and maybe five or six commanders and perhaps we'll talk about those in more detail later but that's something that all you players need to be aware of i mean Klug, i mean you were you were you witnessed the process that was I that was everything. hard work right it was it was insanely hard work it was like trying to try to keep everything in the game but then kind of have to admit that some things were broken or some things were a bit OP and in the end we want to have a proper esports tournament right and we want to we want everything to go as smooth as possible so there's decisions to be made and I think uh, I think we made the right ones really yeah, you know, it, it, this morning we wanted to publish as soon as we could. We want to give you guys time to prepare. I think I think you were all pretty aware of which maps we would use. You know, the, like it's, it was pretty obvious because we had a a poll as to like which would be the best maps. And so those actually the seven maps that were in that poll will be the seven maps that will be in the main event. And next weekend, you know, whoever. The eight players that qualify tomorrow through the open qualifier will join our four invites who you saw on the rotator before. And those 12 players will go into the double elimination main event, which will start next weekend at Saturday at, at this same very time. That'll run Saturday and Sunday, and then we'll have the finals, the grand finals. Um, it'll be preceded by the loser's bracket finals, a best of three, and then it'll be the grand finals, best of five, uh, on Monday night, that's September 28th. So make sure you mark up your calendars for next weekend because, I mean, you, you think this weekend's going to be fun? Next week's weekend is just going to be even better. It's just going to be nonstop top players struggling against one another. So Von Klug, we've got other things going on too. We're trying to kill a little bit of time because we're trying to get all the players uh, for the All-Star game. You know, there are eight of them. There are eight yeah. players. We're trying to wrestle them all into to, uh, Mumble so we can get a, a solid 4v4 here. If we don't find everybody, like we're it's still missing be a Von. Victory, right? Yeah, put, yeah, well, put the word out. We're missing, oh, no, he just came into Mumble. Just oh, as I me. say his name, that timing, Paul for Vaughn. That he was probably oh, waiting for it though. <laughs> oh, that timing, man. That the, timing. The, 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 the clouds parted. <laughs> and, and his graciousness, Vaughn, uh, joined us right at that moment. But we're still exactly. waiting for Romeo. We don't know where, where Romeo, Romeo is. So. Where art thou, uh, Romeo? Yeah, where for art uh, thou, Romeo? Exactly. Put out the call sign for uh, for Romeo and see if we can drag him in there. And then we'll have our proper 4v4. Because if we can't find him in like the next 10 minutes or something, then we're just going to have to run a 3v3 or something like that. But uh, we will figure out a way. So, But before we go in there and introduce all of our uh, 2015 Operation Charlie Fox All-Stars, why don't you tell everybody a little bit about the fan art contest, and I can actually uh, go and show them some of the works while you're talking about it. So, oh, all right, fan art. Well, actually, uh, I was very happy to do another fan art contest, just as a strategy, because um, I've done two or three in the past, I think, and they always turned up very, very spectacular. People always really put a lot of effort into uh, the submissions. Um, they always pretty much blew my mind away with how creative and how, how amazing they were. And um, I think it's kind of a trend that people would always like wait until the last two days or even the last day to submit the best works. And exactly that um, happened today. And as you can, <laughs> as, as you can see- what's on, uh, up with that last night, man. I saw that. Genunga got oh, yeah. blew my mind. It's like, holy, yeah. So you, pr you probably should show. Should show I, I, I will. I will. He he, oh. he did that on purpose, man. Yeah. He, he indeed, saved he that. He saved he that just for the last moment. He swoops in for the last minute and grabs he away the prize. He swoops in. Yeah. Look at I this did. stuff, you guys. There's so much great stuff. Okay, so here's Ganunga Gap stuff, and the very British forces. It's not the British <laughs> forces. <laughs> it's the very British. Forces. It's the very British <laughs> forces. Let me see if I can blow it up just a tad for you guys. Uh. Actually, you know what? I, I I should be kicking myself for not including this in my um my splash yeah. screen rotator. But I will next definitely week, next week. I'll get a, I'll get a bunch of them in next week. So here here's the very British forces, and you can see there's Big Ben in the background, and there's a, a Firefly launching his tulip rocket. You got the Ministry of Silly Walks. Yeah, the, the goose glorious step. Monty Python reference. It's oh, yeah, so Monty Python goose stepping, making fun of those crazy crowds. You got two proper gentlemen uh, having tea. 
What time do you have tea in Britain? What's the what's tea time? I think it's about three three in the three a.m. <laughs> right on. We got uh, a a big gun sticking out of a double decker bus, uh, a, a London bus toting the 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 UK flag, and we got even got a carrier. Those are those guys are called beef eaters, right? The soldiers that guard. I think where is it? Buckingham Palace is that? Buckingham Palace is what it is. I think. <laughs> yeah. So it's, that's it's... epic. And then he did another one. So that's the very British forces, not not just the British forces. They're they're very British. But he did another one. Yeah, as, called... as if one amazing work of all wasn't enough, he just made two, like casually. Just yeah, let me make two. Just blow everybody away. Just yeah, check it. this out, you guys. Let's see. Why are you doing that? Come back. Okay, so this is Africa Corps, and <laughs> you know what my favorite part of this is? The little Mad Max dude on yeah. the right in the bike, he's like, Witness me, Marshall! Witness! <laughs> you know? He got, the he got the thunder sticks and everything, he's ready to just ready to strike, really. Wow. Mediocre! <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. At the 88... Uh, we got this guy looks like Rommel with the goggles. Some dude's got his shoes off. He's just got a, chillaxing. And, and a desert fox running around as well. It's also is, it, is that a is that a Panzer three? I mean, because yeah, I think is. I think he found three hugely missing units. You know, like the eighty eight, the Panzer three, and the bike, the, the BMW bike with the carriage, are missing right now from Co two. So, I mean, he might be right. <laughs> You know, he, he I mean, this is just fantasy, but he could have he could have nailed it. Just imagine. We're, we're, you, you know, we have you all along what's going to happen to Company Virus too. Just 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 think about that. Perhaps we we have five factions, so perhaps you know at some point we'll get six. Uh, just back to the thread, I want to show a couple of other. Look at this, Fireflies, just all high tech and sick looking. Yeah. Uh, these were excellent, these caricatures of different soldiers from the various factions. We've got like a Soviet soldier, and there's like a USF guy and a British forces kind of eyeballing each other a little bit crooked. And, uh, oh, web page not available. Come on now. Come on, site. What's up? Hold on a second, you guys. Let me make sure I can find some other cool works for you. But there's like a, a tiger in, um, in the fall with the, with the leaves everywhere. And people made, people make animated GIFs with like a king tiger crashing through a yeah. wall. That was and there's, spectacular. There's Machinima by Sulami. I mean, there's just tons of stuff. Uh, Code2.org might be getting flooded right now. Hey, you guys out there in chat, uh, you got to check for us occasionally. Maybe we're on the Twitch homepage. So if you see us on the Twitch homepage, we're, we, that would be really exciting. And we would love to know about it. Maybe take a screenshot and throw it up on Code2.org trending. That would be super cool. We would appreciate that. We're that trying to get works. featured throughout this entire event. Um, yeah, Code2.org, man, we've, our traffic has just gone crazy. You know, since Relic put that in-game advertisement, you know, the, the, the sort of like thousands of participants, uh, hundreds of play uh, no, thousands of viewers, hundreds of players, and one champion, you know, they put that in-game. And since they did that, Code2.org has gotten about 20,000 hits just from that banner by itself. Oh, yeah. We've, we've had almost... 400 new users, you know, like I mentioned before, almost 600 signups for this event tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be insane. It's gonna be an insane day tomorrow. I'm so glad I don't have to be referee because, damn, those poor guys, <laughs> yeah. they're gonna have the time of the life, I think, tomorrow. I have to Jesus. admit, I'm a little bit scared. I mean, I've, mm. you know, we had like 150 for Dr. Vox, but, you know, I'm expecting between three this and 400 to show up for this tomorrow. Yeah. That would, and even that would be an insane amount of people just. Yeah. Just for this game, I mean, yeah. Relic should be paying attention, really. So just do we how, have how to how to do proper events, Relic? If you're watching, just just. Well, we it. have the most experience, you know. We've been doing this since 2008 or so. Indeed. That's you know we've been doing this for seven years, so hopefully we can handle it. But we're gonna our our tournament organizational skills will be put to the test uh, tomorrow. You, you know you know what I just found out. It, you know, like, like I actually practice moving the names from the spreadsheet into the brackets because you know you have to like first you got to check everybody in. You know, you got to be in the Steam chat, you got to be checked in, and then we got to sort out all the people that didn't check in, and then we got to take take the people that did check in, then we got to seed them right by by their ranks, by their past tournament performance, and then so we take them seeded, and then we dump them into like a brackets uh, website, 
And I discovered yesterday, VK, or or a few days ago when I was practicing this, because that's the kind of nerd I am. I practice moving names from from spreadsheets to brackets. That's the that's what the kind of nerd I am. And I discovered that Challenge only accepts 256 names max. Ooh. Challenge, please. It's like, it's like oh. Challenge, how could you do that? How, yeah. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have more than 256 players tomorrow. Yeah, that's just. So, I was just like, I was like Pooh in his thoughtful spot. Think, 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 think. What can I do? And actually, I remembered that Binary Beast uh, is another brackets generating website that we used for Sunday Night Fight Season 4. And so that actually accepts, you know, like a thousand names and everything. So we might wind up doing it on bracket, uh, Binary Beast. So it might be over there. So it might be challenge if there's less than 256, but if there's more than 256, it, it'll probably be binary beast. Just stay on your toes. Um, I also have to say right now, you know, I'm worried about the stability of Kotu.org. You know, we're a small organization. <laughs> Our server bandwidth, like occasionally when there's like hundreds of people online, and there have been recently, you know, like three or 300 people, 400 people maybe, like there's a chance the site could go down. So if that happens tomorrow, players, you know, we can still do this. We can do this on Steam, and we can do this on, like, Challenge or Binary Beast. So, you know, don't go crazy if Kotu.org goes down. We don't need Kotu.org. We just Everything need to, fine. We need to get those, you know, 400 players down to about, like, 100 players, and then probably the website will come back up again. And But, but we can definitely handle it, you know, in Kotu.org Steam chat. I expect all the players to be in there. And also on, you know, like, Challenge or Binary Beast. So that's the plan. So have we found Romeo yet? I still don't see him we up there. We haven't found Romeo. Where is he? He's, he's our bloody tournament director. He's missing his own tournament. Well, what is this? What right, is well, this? Let's, Romeo, let's, please. Let's go up there uh, anyway and talk to the players. I'm going to fade out the background music a bit, and let's go see if we can start saying hi to everyone in the lobby. Let's see if this can work. Uh, players, what's up? <laughs> I'm live, and hopefully... <laughs> Everything you, everything you say will go out on the stream. How y'all doing? Hello, boys. Doing great. Okay. Good afternoon, Hello. but uh, great if we could do this on TeamSpeak. <laughs> well, once, once we get everything started, you're welcome to take your three teammates and go off to TeamSpeak if, if you all have it and are ready to use it. That's fine. So maybe uh, we're still waiting for Romeo, right? We haven't seen him yet, huh? Yeah, I don't know what he's got to all right, wow. The, the, yeah, the mumble is really choppy, right? Maybe, you know, the mumble is hosted on Kotu.org, and Kotu.org is getting a lot of traffic right now, so who knows? That could have something to do with it. Yeah, I have no idea what server is hosting this, but that server is definitely dying. Okay, so, yeah, so maybe you guys doing this here. We can give you a little time. Perhaps you can sort out a team speak to go to that would be better. But like, yeah. while, I, while I've got you here... Um, Let's see. Uh, hopefully, the quality will stay good enough. But can we just go through and can can you guys introduce each other? Maybe in the uh, introduce yourselves quickly to to our viewers. Maybe Cruz, will you go first? Uh, I like what I say that I'm okay and I like <laughs> playing in tools. Okay, this is totally forget it. All right, we got to go to a team speak. It's just terrible. So no, I have I have a team speak we could use for everybody. Let me give you a go and let me book you all the address. Okay, great. Thanks, Vaughn. That's interesting to know. Vaughn, that... Vaughn to the rescue once more. It's gonna give us a safe haven to have our, our to the little. Oh man, this this is death in there. I'm just gonna go quiet. P, P, uh, PM me the details, please, Vaughn, and or uh, put them here. I don't know if you can put them here somewhere, but I I got Teamspeak. I can go in there and join you guys. All right, sorry Ooh, everybody. One choppy uh, Teamspeak. Oh, one choppy Mumble server. All yeah, right, geez. everybody meet in the uh, the Co2 Teamspeak. I'll just need everybody in the right place. Do I need a? All address? right, let's regroup. How do I? Where do I get the address uh, Yeah, you need address, but the phone's gonna the bo uh, just bottom left hand up. side of the Mumble thing. Uh, I want to open posters down there. Oh, I'll get the, to the address. What the hell? Where is it? All right, yeah, help me out. Okay, I'm gonna leave Mumble. Okay, I'm out of Mumble. So, Klug, hook me up with the Team Speak address, please. Sorry for the wait, guys. Sorry for the wait. Let me get some more background music going. But man, wow, interesting. So that must be because Kotu.org is so busy that the the Mumble that we're serving is just like <laughs> dying. Sorry about that, folks. We'll um, 
We'll try to move over to another VoIP and uh, get get this going again. Uh, here, the the Kotodador came back. I can show you this beautiful tiger that was submitted by Rita Rush. Super cool. This is her second submission to the fan art contest. Her first is a, a paratrooper scene. So be beautiful fall colors. We figure that that fits well with Operation Charlie Fox. It's got a nice gold theme going. I really love Rita Rush's work. It's like it's it's pretty realistic and. Um, you know, the, the colors on the, the, the color palette was just stunning, so it's pretty much one of my favorites, actually. Yeah. So, so are you going to hook me up with some details in Steam chat? I'm still I'm still waiting. You're still waiting to get them. Okay, well then let me just check through this a bit more, show you what else is going on. Uh, people like that one. Here's TM Dutchie. He's our lead artist. He made the fox that's in the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Here we have a couple of panthers by Malius. These are actually really sweet, and these images are huge, so if you blow them up, they look even better. And then here are these faction portions that I told you about. Here's the uh, the Okave and the Wehrmacht with their infrared scopes and their Panzerfaust. And then here we have uh, the, the, the Americans and the Brits. And this American seems to be begrudging this Brit just a tad. He's jealous. I sent you the, the uh, Team Speak details, by the way, so you can go, go and have a look. All right, let me go have a look at that. Try to load you all up another page of fan art stuff. All right, bear with us for a second, folks, as we reorganize on Teamspeak. Oops, sorry, Clue. Teamspeak no covered covered your face for there there for a second. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm going in. Am I about to be dragged? You're about to be dragged, probably. Von Ivan's gonna drag you down. I can't remember if I have a push to talk on this or not. Can you guys hear me yet? Let's see, is it shift? Where the hell am I? Do you hear oh, me on there? Up? Here, control. Okay, hi. What's up, folks? Yeah. Yeah, hey, this is much how's better. Going? This is oh, a million times okay. better. I can hear you loud and clear. And yep. I, you. So let's pick it up where we left off as we as the search for Romeo continues. Guys in the chat, if you know Romeo, our tournament director, uh, the thing is he's not on online on Steam, is he? He he was online nine hours ago, I think. So yeah. perhaps he, perhaps he slept in. Anyway, if he doesn't show up by the end of these introductions, what do you guys say to a three v three, and then the team that uh, is the team that has four, which I guess you guys would rotate. So in, in like game two, you would play a different set of three, so everybody gets a, a, a game in. Does that sound good? Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. All right, cool. So let's introduce everybody. I'll just do it in the order here that we're in the chat. Uh, Siberian, how you doing, man? You want to introduce yourself real quick? What's up, Army? How's it going, guys? I'm sure you all recognize my voice. I'm Sib. Another stream on Code to the Rock. Pleasure to be here. Um, a great lineup, I think, for pretty top players and me, who's a pretty bad scrub, but I'll see how I do. And you, lol. Uh, Sib, for you, I was when I first wrote you into the news post, I put a British flag, but then I was like, well, maybe you'd want a Russian flag. I didn't know, and, and then I looked in your profile, and you have a Russian flag there, so then I changed it to Russian. Did I do the right thing? <laughs> Hello, Sib? Where'd he go? We lost Sip <laughs> for a second. Oh, that no. was recorded. <laughs> no! <laughs> it's recorded! It's a bug! It's a bug! <laughs> no, it's all good. No, no, it's a feature. It's a feature. You did the right thing. Yeah, no problem. So you were you were born in, in Russia, but then when, when how long have you lived in the UK? About 16 years now. Okay, so most so of your I've life. I've been here, yeah, pretty much the majority of my life now. All right, welcome to the OCF All-Star Game. Uh, next up, Von Ivan. How you doing, man? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? <laughs> I'm fine. It was a bit of a stressful morning, like trying to figure out uh, these, these bands and so forth. Uh, did you read the news post? Did we do okay by you? 
Oh yeah, I, I read the news post. It was a it was a wonderful news post. It represented me almost to the letter. I, I couldn't believe just how accurate that news post was. Let me tell you. I don't know if you're trolling or not. <laughs> no, no, I'm 100% serious. Well, that's that's great news because we put a lot of effort into it. And I tried to you know check out the streams last night, listen to you guys. Uh, we got feedback from my entire staff, and there I mean there were a lot of dissenting opinions that we needed to. Uh, like resolve and it took us quite some time so it was a bit of a stressful morning for me but von ivan man like where are you from and how'd you come to the company of heroes 2 franchise well i'm from the great old state of michigan we have bears coyotes and wolves um <laughs> i discovered <laughs> Eco in, to in a gamestop one day and i was like hmm well since there aren't any other interesting rts games you know i mean there's <coughs> shit crap but i feel code 2 seems like a, a great or Vico seems like a great game to try. So I got it, and and I tried it, and I was just, I loved it. And then Code 2 came along, and I was like, this is the most amazing thing that has ever happened since, well, since Chocolate Cake. So <laughs> I'm, I just, that's how I became part of the Code 2 community. Well, good to have you. You are the team captain of the War Penguins. Um, welcome to the All-Star Match. One of your, let's see, opponents is going to be Cruzy from Finland. How you doing, Cruz? Cruz? We lost Cruz. Where'd Cruz go? All right, we'll get back to him later. Jeslin, are you here? How you doing, man? Hey, hello. Hello, guys. So, Jeslin, tell us, man, where are you from, and how do you manage to win all these Co2 tournaments? <laughs> it's... It's a very difficult question. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm from uh, Spain. Uh, I'm from a city called Miranda de Ebro in the north of Spain. And it's a pleasure to be here playing with all these competitive players as me. What's and about the second question, I don't know how to say. Probably, uh, I usually troll with a work um, a uh, because for me it's essential to to play this game, adapting to new Ad situations, right. oh, yeah. new balance problems. Hashtag and adapt. Keep... Yes, exactly. <laughs> Got you. Well, you're gonna have some hashtag adapting to do uh, in a week because this is this is brand new. Jeslin is of course our number one seed in Operation Charlie Fox, so he will not be participating tomorrow, but I'm sure he'll be paying attention to see how these guys fight. Um, you know, hopefully in the middle of the next week, we're going to get this hot fix, and then we can kind of lift some of the little bands that we had to do this morning, and then hopefully by the time you play in the main event, the game will be in a slightly better state, and uh, you're going to be adapting right off the bat to that hot fix, won't you? Yes. <laughs> All right, Jeslin, well, good luck, man. Uh, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Uh, one of the the most successful uh, players in the franchise history and Company of Heroes 2 history. This guy has won every big thing we've done lately. He won Alienware Arena EU as a big money prize. He won the Dr. Vox tournament that we ran last December, big money prize. So good to have you here. Uh, the guy you defeated, I believe, in the finals of the Dr. Vox tournament is also here. Uh, the, the captain of Team Caratine. And my buddy was on the stream with me just yesterday. How you doing, Love Nest? Hey, Ami. Mean, thanks. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm, I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> it's a, it's fine. Now that we're rolling, I'm feeling a little better. You know, it, that setup, you just get nervous that you're going to mess everything up. But now now that we're, we're rolling, it's like putting on an old shoe. You know, I'm good. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing great. Um, uh, just uh, to introduce myself, I'm, I'm Love Nest. Uh, you guys uh, might have uh, dropped by my stream uh, someday. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm the dude with the carrot in the pictures that are like when you know, between pauses, then you can see me eating, munching on a carrot. And yeah, actually, I'm, I'm very glad that this event happens. You know, like we talked about it in a bar, didn't we? Like when I visited, visited you in Berlin. <laughs> I'm, I'm you, great. That, that was the, good. That was good. Visited. Yeah, yes. When I you visited myself. me. Yes. We talked about it in the bar. That, that was us two nerds talking about Code 2 in the bar. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that we like reached 5,000. That was more than anybody of us could imagine. So I'm really happy to be here and play this game. I'm really looking forward to it. Cool, man. Well, hopefully you can lead your team in this uh, big 4v4. Um, OMG Pop, are you here? 
Hi, hello, Andy. Hey, hello, welcome, man. What's up? It's a, it's so we've got we've got three of the four seeds. OMG Pop is our number three seed in Operation Charlie Fox. The only one we're missing is Armstrong, and I guess he couldn't attend today. So, OMG Pop, you're from Canada, right? What, can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you came to the game? Uh, when the game first came out, I was. Uh, it was 2006 and I played the campaign. I was really impressed by it, but um, I didn't really play the game uh, properly until around 2011 when I saw game replays uh, and their tournaments and the videos. So I was uh, quite surprised, but I really liked the gameplay. So I just uh, started from there. Uh, I remember watching some of the uh, aim strong and Dev M uh, battling it out in those game replay tournaments. So um, I started to get into this game, and when Kotu came out, uh, I started playing tournaments as well. Nice. Did, didn't Hi. we first meet when you were running 2v2s with Marinez, who's a clan mate of mine in Reborn? Yeah, 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 probably something like that. I was in Reborn for uh, for a little bit, but. Uh, I think by then the game was quite dead and everybody was uh, playing something else. So I couldn't find any practice partners and I didn't really enter any tournaments. I wanted to ask you guys, didn't didn't you compete with maybe some of the other people in this channel right now in the League of Heroes that Maza hosted, uh, the, the Russian tournament? How did that wind up? Uh, I don't know. I think Von Ivan was on the team with me, but the team was directed by Dusty and Sias. I don't know what we lost the winners match. Uh, yeah, we in uh, those team games. Sadly, due to time zones, <clears throat> when both of us were asleep, they had the uh, final four before match, and we were unable to participate. Oh, for our Call of Duty. Yeah, that's the only sad thing about time zones for this game. Yeah, that, it was tough for us to pick a good time zone for uh, OCF. You know, we try to. We try to fit it in so it's like in the evening into the night in Europe and then in the morning and into the afternoon in the USA. So we cover the two most active continents for our website, which is, of course, the Americas and Europe. But it's really rough for Asians, Australians to participate in our events because of the time zones. So OMG Pop, you are you live in Canada now, but what's your ancestry? Like, where are you from originally? Were you born in Canada? Uh, no, no, I was from China. I came here in 2004. So, okay. So around 10, 11 years. And how are you finding Canada, man? Are you like, which coast are, are you near Relic? Have you ever visited them? No, but I'm sure I'll be there someday. Hopefully. User was moved to your channel. Are you East Coast or middle like Toronto or West Coast like Vancouver? Or... Uh, right now I'm living in Saskatchewan. So it's, uh, uh, prairies in the middle, I guess. Wow, crazy. <laughs> I, I'm just thinking of like barren ice and like Samoski winter maps and stuff like this. Is it like that or no? Or I mean, like, what's it like outside of your door? Uh, I mean, yeah, we just had, had a hot summer, and in Canada, every winter there's snow. Uh, actually, I'm from a snowy part of China as well, so the weather actually suits me. I don't like hot places. And oh, I don't that, like outdoors that's either, so... <laughs> but are you close to a, a major city as well? Sorry for all the questions, I'm just genuinely interested. Uh, Saskatoon is a decent sized city for Canada. It's, it's got a, a quarter million people. Saskatchewan, it sounds like a mythical beast. <laughs> what a name! I've never <laughs> been there, I've never been anywhere near there. The, the closest I've probably ever been was uh, Toronto. And I, I've been through Detroit and I've, I've visited Niagara Falls, but I've never been up north in the central central Canada. But anyway, welcome to the show. Oh. I'll stop quizzing you. Right, thanks, Amy. All right, so let's see. Marcus just joined us. What do you, what's up, Marcus? Did you just come to say hi? Uh, no, I came to play. Hello. You came to play, baller! Hello. Yes. So you want to fill in for uh, you want to fill in for Romeo? Yep. Atta <laughs> boy, Marco! Is that up to me? Maybe I don't even want Marcus to play in our team. I don't Burn! <laughs> Burn! Kidding, You're welcome, dude. Thank you. Well, no, it's not up to you, actually. Uh, he's on your team, whether you like it or not. 
Okay, fine. <laughs> <That's horrendous. laughs> all right, guys, we have a 4v4 match. And I guess with all of that, you want to say hi to Marcus? You want to introduce yourself? Well, why not? I'm pretty sure that everyone knows me, by the way. I'm Marcus, Marco, and I come from Italy. And I play Search One since the start. With my friend, Ami Polizei Funk, <laughs> we organize tournaments and events. And we really hope that OCF will be one of the greatest events so far. That's that's all we think about when we fall asleep at night. Seriously, like last night, I'm I'm falling asleep thinking about do we ban the Vickers? We can't ban the Brits. Like, how do you ban a unit? You know, like it's essential to the early game, but it's broken, and there's no way you could use it without maybe it bugging out. So, uh, you know, it was just this is these are the nightmares that I have when I go to sleep at night. This is what I think about. So, guys, can I get a gentleman's agreement for from all of you right now? to follow the bands that we instituted for tomorrow's tournament here in this 4v4 match. Do you guys all know what they are? Should I go over them? Oh, before you do, I mean, I think Cruz is back. I just got a message from Kappa. If you want to enter. Cruzy, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Oh, great. Yeah, we'll all right, well, on. welcome. Everybody's introduced themselves but you, so why don't you tell us uh, who you are, where you're from, etc. <coughs> yeah, hi, I'm Cruz. I'm from Finland. Freezing my butt off here, and I'm the <laughs> guy who everyone knows to be the saltiest in the community. And I like to play the tools more than the game. Did <laughs> you play the tools? What does that mean exactly? Uh, they show up in your Steam profile that you are playing Code 2 tools if you use the Relic Made Mod tools. But but like but what do you do? I mean, you dig through the actual code, or like how do you get all these numbers? And why do you always seem to have them at the, the like right at the top of your head? Do you have a photographic memory or something? It's just amazing. No, I have a file search. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> it's 2012. Uh, I mean, you don't need to actual like, like remember anything at all. There's Google and Control F and so forth. No, but we really appreciate all the knowledge that you bring, man. I think that whenever you're in a Steam chat, like, there are a lot of people learning stuff. So I have to thank you on behalf of the whole community for all those uh, statistics. So you're from Finland. Uh, what What's the closest major city to where you live? Uh, Helsinki. I live, well, not in Helsinki itself, but right on the border of it. Nice. I've actually been to Helsinki. Maybe you'd be surprised to know that, but I was on my way to St. Petersburg once, and we went through Helsinki, and then we took a boat to St. Petersburg, a ferry, an overnight ferry. Have you ever done that? Uh, no, I haven't actually. Gone have to you Russia. taken? What about what about Russia. west <laughs> towards uh, towards Stockholm? Have you have you taken the ferry to Sweden? That's a pretty popular. It's like a beer route, yeah, I think. I'm I'm so bored, Jaws. I only use planes. <laughs> Word. <laughs> when I was there, the the it's the alcohol is so expensive in Sweden that tons of Swedes would like take this boat to Helsinki to stock up on as much alcohol as they could carry and then bring it back to Sweden. Have have you ever heard of that? Uh, not really. Those days are long gone. I mean, oh, now okay. we are going that was a while ago. to Sweden to buy fair alcohol. Really? <laughs> How things change. That was, yeah, that was a long time ago, at least 10 years ago. So uh, let me just go over the rules anyway, not just for you guys as players, but for all of our viewers, because this is hot off the press. Let me take you guys over to the rules that we just posted. This is the rules update, bands announced, and maps announced for Operation Charlie Fox. And so for the open qualifier, we have banned the Vickers MG. You are not allowed to build it. If you build it and your opponent sees it or, <laughs> you know, uh, your opponent is, is able to ask that the game be adjudicated as a win for him and a loss for you. So you are not allowed to build the Vickers MG. Uh, the bug is documented at Vet1. I learned this from Cruzy the other day in his stream chat. Uh, you know, at Vet1, if you get in and out of houses, you get a stacking bonus on, like, range and sight. And so the thing just gets insane. Like, it could sit in a house in the middle of Arnhem and fire into an enemy base. It's, it gets totally insane. So the only way we could deal with it, you know, like, you can't say, oh, just, 
you can build it but not exploit stuff because that's just too impossible because that's what MGs do. MGs get in and out of houses. So we just said no Vickers. So if you want to play Brits, maybe you think the faction is crippled, you know, like one of the, one of the only early game options that you have. Vickers, like you can't use it now, so maybe you think the faction's crippled, but we're sorry. We apologize for that. If you want to play Brits, you're going to have to stay away from the Vickers. So that's out. Next, uh, band ability. We've got this problem with the uh, glider going into an OKW base and destroying it in one shot. And so that's a bug. So you're not allowed to do that. You can drop gliders, but if your glider lands on a Okave base and destroys it, then your opponent can say, you know, hey, that's no fair. You're exploiting a bug, and I'm going to request a win for this game. And so we'll give them a win. And... Um, that's the way this is going to go down. And then furthermore, we've banned a couple of commanders. Um, some of them have game-breaking bugs. Others we just feel are OP or go against the spirit of the game. So uh, also banned are the Soviet Partisans, USF Rifle Company, British Forces Weapons Regiment, British Forces uh, Vanguard Operations, and those are both because of the croc, which we feel is crazy OP right now. And finally, uh, the Wehrmacht Elite Troops. So that's it. Can I get... Uh, can I get a gentleman's agreement from everybody here in chat that uh, you will stay away from that stuff today? Absolutely. Sure. Of course. All right. Rock <laughs> and roll. So, Vaughn, uh, you're kind of the administrator of this team speak. Can you sequester the teams into two separate channels? And then you guys can go ahead and start. Uh, and I'll just, sure. I'll just look in game and I'll, you know, okay. if you're streaming, that's fine too. I'll, I'll start as soon as you start. And so hopefully we'll all be synced up and the, the viewers can watch on multiple channels. And uh, yeah, we're ready. Let's roll. All right. Let me, you oh, uh, about before hands. we start, who's, who's what? creating the game? And do, we set OBS to zero, I'm assuming. And then is there a password for the OBS? I don't know if it's open or. Uh, no, don't set a password. Yeah, set set it to no delay. What was your question, Marcus? And also, you forget about um, introduce uh, helping hands too. Oh, helping hands! I never introduced helping hands. Oh, well, James, no. this here is a man <laughs> that, that needs no introduction. Helping hands. Hey, why don't you guys. say hello to everybody? Thank you, Emmy. I'm sure you didn't forget about me. Uh, how's everyone doing? I hope you, I'm pretty hyped for this tournament. Let's get this thing started. All right, short and sweet. Let's do it. So, Vaughn, please split everybody up, and uh, we're going right. to go in game and, and keep an eye out in our friends list for when it starts. Good luck, everyone. Thanks, Emmy. Thank you. Good luck, everyone. So, Vaughn Klug, man, we got to get in game quick. We don't want to miss the start. Indeed, we don't want to. Let's see. Custom games. Let's oh, see. I'm just gonna move you to a different channel. I mean, that works. Okay. Yeah, that works. just send me away to somewhere Please by myself. Your channel. All right, guys, I'm gonna bring you guys in game. So as soon as I see it, you see it. I'm looking at my friends' games, and uh, it should appear soon. Once the, I'll just keep refreshing. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, let me set up my overlay. I don't know who's going to be on which side, so uh, that's going to be a little tricky. But let's let's just we got a 50-50 chance. Let's go for Team Carotene on the left versus um, the War Penguins. All right, let's get that up there. So hopefully we can figure out. It's going to have to be uh, a star for allies and a cross for axis. I don't know which one will be which, but we'll take a guess. <laughs> oh, we'll take a guess. guess. Yeah. Should work. There we go. Let me see. Let me. I have been. I haven't paid a lot of attention to all you guys in chat. We've got over 600 in the stream tonight. Um, I would guess that that means we're not featured on Twitch yet. Have you guys been checking? We got 711 viewers. It's still pretty epic. I mean, it's it's more than it's, we get normally. It's amazing. So Dude, who knows? So. That Twitch feature might kick in. It might not. Are you keeping an eye in game? I'm keeping an eye in game. Let's okay, let's let's just make sure that we're, that we're not gonna miss it. Four v four, Osk Winter, Arnhem checkpoint, refresh, friends games. I I wonder, is it only gonna appear once it's, it starts, or will um, it? I think when it starts, really. Yeah. Well, you should check on custom games. I think that's better. No? Not friends games. I got like ten friends in this game. I'm sure it'll show up. All right. Let me know when you see it. I'm gonna. I will. Keep the camera trained on us for a bit and on our fancy ties. Do you guys like our gold ties? <laughs> Come on, look at we co we color coordinated for Operation Charlie Fox. Are you guys feeling uh, it? Apparently, my tie is quite uh, quite shiny, so deal with it. It's so shiny. Yeah, I love my uh, tie though. 
creators in the chat under the one for one of official uh, 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 name, and he says that DreamHack is going on right now. So I guess Ooh. I guess Twitch yeah. has a lot of DreamHack features. But the way Twitch works is it kind of it kind of rolls. So if you guys could keep checking, that'd be really cool because you know like we might have a little slot that will will roll in there for fifteen or twenty minutes, and then the viewers will go through the roof and. We would appreciate that. I guess I can plug us. Uh, if you would follow me, that would be great. I'm Ami Polizei Funk. And if you could follow Christoph, his Twitter is right over there on my right up there. Indeed, indeed. Follow me. And for if you could follow SNF, our channel, the is it a green button, a purple button? I don't know. But it's down here, the follow button. button. If you haven't pressed it yet, you got to press it. Because somehow, I don't know how, helping hands. <laughs> surpassed us in followers we were so used to being number one all the time but now Hanzi is the most followed uh company of heroes 2 streamer on twitch and we would like to at least threaten his title let me go back in and and refresh we don't want to miss the beginning of this we want to trace because i think Hanzi's streaming so you could watch this from his perspective jesselin said he was going to stream Jessalyn is too. streaming as well and i think lovinus is streaming too so there's a lot of different perspectives to be to be followed if you guys want so Let's see, okay. Hans, Lovinus, Jeslin, yeah, everybody's streaming, so. Okay, I'm looking Plan for it. I, I hope, I wonder if they've all already downloaded the map, you know, there might be that delay, you know how when you're like loading in and people have got custom decals and stuff, and like, then yeah. everybody else that you're playing with has to download all that stuff, so it might be a little while. Indeed, indeed. Do we have other points that we haven't uh, talked about yet? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we did the rules, the bands, the, the amazing prize pool. Um, yeah. hmm. I can refresh it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It takes a takes a while to pop up. I think Code2.org is getting a lot of hits. If if th oh, this yeah. thing, this prize pool thing right here comes directly from the web, and if it takes that long, like it just did. Can barely read it, but anyway, if you guys want to add to the prize pool, we're going to keep the contributions pipeline uh, open until actually the very last game of the grand finals, which will be next Monday. So uh, we're going to keep accepting contributions until the 28th of September. Um, if you want to float us a few more levels, we'd really appreciate it. Keep this thing rolling up. We're already the biggest event in the franchise, but we don't mind getting bigger still. <laughs> the bigger, the better, right? If we're Abs talking money, absolutely. Okay, let's take people in game. We're going with Chris Velasco's sound track. I'm hoping this will come and just refresh. Let's look for him. Let's see. Where are those guys? <laughs> Paula's playing. It's funny. <laughs> My friends. I got a, I accidentally called him Paula in a news post. I got a PM from him. He said, could you change it to Paul.a.d? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sorry. My bad. <laughs> uh. That's that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Everybody yeah, I, will just keep calling calling him Paul on no matter what, no matter how many PMs he sets. Everybody just gonna call him <laughs> too, too dead. So, yeah. Here's a here's a four v four. These guys are bashing up some uh, CPU hards on Carenton. I've definitely mm. never played that map yet. Oh uh, wait, OSF Lucky? No, that's not us. I, nope. I I thought OSF and I thought OCF, but that's not that's not us. Yeah, the num the the letters will get really. It's all just a blur. Let's see. Actually, maybe do you have the opportunity to go and look at Hansi's stream? Because then you could tell me where the well, like what situation they're in. Yep. We could we'll we could spy on this event. <laughs> I'm afraid to open anything because I don't want the audio, you know, like clouding the the SNF Indeed. audio. Sexy Plexi's here in the chat. Barrier X, Volter Dark, Juan El Stretchy Neck, Pro Diggity, Egger Greg. They have not started the game yet. Thank you, Edgar nope, Greg. They haven't started. They're still in the lobby. Okay. Well, cool, MG cool. Pop apparently was downloading something. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, like if you don't have the map, it can take a long time to download. Yeah. So they all have it, the sexy UK um, OCF uh, decals, though. So really? That's, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, you know. That's really cool. With the decals, we didn't actually get the actual gifts yet, did we? I, I don't, uh, think, I don't I mean, think. I don't think we have. But, I didn't have uh, a chance. Uh, I talked to Kyle, the community ma manager at Relic, yesterday, and in, in his last, 
email. You know, they were stressed. They were stressed. You know, like oh, the, the, the reports were coming in on Friday, like Vickers <laughs> bug, game breaking. <laughs> you have to fix it before the tournament, you know, and they tried. They tried to fix it. And, you know, like Kyle came into a stream and he said hot fix on the way and everybody got excited. But then yeah, it but turns out they weren't not- able to finish it and get it out by Friday night. So it's it'll come in the middle of next week. But Relic is aware. And hopefully by the time we roll around to the main event, we can allow the Vickers back into the game. By the time the important matches start, Roddick will have hopefully cleaned up their act and give us a decent patch, right? Yeah. That's what I, we're hoping for. I mean, they, people like to knock them, you know, but they, they do care. I mean, look at they're bending over backwards to try to get the game into ship shape before uh, this event. And, you know, and I'm sure that if that whole thing hadn't happened, there would have been a better chance of us getting our little decal gifts. But that that became you know less of a priority as you know we discovered these things needed some tweaks um but uh, but you know if you're a contributor to ocf or if, or if you're a participant in the uh qualifier um you sh- you should eventually get a operation charlie fox kind of like that decal up there uh, uh decal pack that you can actually wear into auto match at least that that's what we're looking for we haven't gotten it yet kyle sent me an email at the end of the day that said you should get it and then he like went home, you know, and, but, but I never got it. So he'll, he'll find my email on Monday and he'll, he'll realize that maybe whatever the Steam gift, you know, I sent him a list of like 700 names uh, and Steam IDs. Yeah. So, so we'll see if it's going to take a while for them, <laughs> but they'll, uh, uh, they'll carotene, it look, I'm getting spy stuff. Okay. Carotene's axis. All right. Well, I got that correct on my, um, yep. on my thing. I don't, I don't know if they will be blue though. We, okay. So we got the sides correct. But we'll see if they, nobody will know whether they'll be blue or red until I actually load into the game. Uh, there, there were some improvements to Ob's mode. I'm very excited. I'll have a bigger mini map. And oh, you know what, Clue? We forgot to remind them all to lower their settings. But hopefully they remember. I think their PCs can take it. I mean, they're all pretty much streamers or very seasoned guys, so I, I shouldn't worry too much about it, really. If no, RPCs well, can handle it, it's, it's I'm still right. worried, man. Uh, the dreaded <laughs> bug, bug splat. I'm still paranoid. Knock on wood, dude. Knock on wood. Budweiser Reborn is here. Hattie's here. He's an SNF subscriber. Thank you very much. I know we don't have a, a little notification and all that, but uh, if we do this again, we will definitely get our, our stream tech sorted out. We'll call up Game Gamblers, who's also here, Incredible Fahu, and, and make sure we have all of the bells and whistles. I got, I got some bells. I got oh, some bells, bells, boys. Dude. I got, I got ding, the ding. SNF bells. Did you get did, uh, Von Klug, did you see the, the fan art? Submission that shows the center yeah. house on Arnhem as it's the OCF so headquarters. It has a little bell on top of it. It's it's it's. Mad. Let me let me check the link so I can share it in chat. Uh, I might be able it? to show it as well. Where was okay. I? Here we go. Gotcha. I'm having a look for it too. I think it was on this page actually. It's on trending. It's like right on the front page. So you oh, can't I really can just it. go there. True. He Let's also submitted it. There's a whole comic book. That you, here's some allied candies. Uh, an awesome P4. Here's the Machinima by, uh, and some more comic books. A King Tiger coming through the gap. This is the, the gif of the King Tiger doing the Kool-Aid man through the wall. Um, we have these cool portraits. Uh, where is it? It must be on the next page. But, yeah, I'll just go to... I'll go to the front page and grab that. It's, uh, it's the OCF headquarters on Arnhem Checkpoint. I think I think Arnhem will be the first map that we play tomorrow. If we uh, have, if we have more so, than yeah. 256, it's going to be Arnhem. Okay, Hansi says he's starting now. All right, so yep. we'll get we'll get back to all that later. Uh, come in game with me, you guys, um, as we look for. I just got a Steam notification, so friendly of Hansi to let me know that they're starting. So if I can, Such ref- dull. if I can refresh uh. this list, custom games. Do I see it? Yes. Do I see it yet? Here. I'm not sure. Let me go for my <laughs> friends list, friends games. I don't have it in custom, I think. Nope. Well, well, maybe starting now means in a few seconds. Yeah, I don't see it yet either. Oh, so, there it is. Helping hands game. I got it. There go. we go. Go, Here we go. Clue, go. Load in, baby. Ding, ding. Come on with us, fight fans. We're about to kick off this ceremony in earnest. This will be the first official game of Operation Charlie Fox. And it's going to be so fun. Screenshot that loading screen, baby. Screenshot (laughs) that. 
Rockin' the oh, Axis, wow. Love Nest, Cruz, Insane Marcus 2389, Jeslin versus your allies. We got one USF and three times Soviets. Interesting. No Brits yet. That's an interesting uh, choice. We got Siberian, Helping Hands, OMG Pop, and Von Ivan. This, this is, is going to be fun. Yeah. So here, here's our plan. Here's our review plan, right, VK? We're going to fast forward to get up to as close to live as possible, right? We're going to go like two mm -hmm. times. And yep. then the game will kick us back to one times once we reach as close to live as possible. And then you and I are going to try to sync. Right? Exactly. That's the okay. idea. Okay, that's the plan. And I'm just going to stay right here on this loading screen because I don't want to touch a thing. I don't want to jinx it. This is going to be yep. on Hill 400 by Monolithic Bacon. Named Hill 400 by the Americans, this mound deep within the Hurtskin Forest formed a place of defense and strategy for the various skirmishes that occurred as the Battle of the Bulge unfolded. The executive decision to liberate the hill came uh, near the completion of a radio bunker seated at the summit. This tower, used by the Wehrmacht, could orchestrate untold control over the region. I think it's about to load in real quick. So how about that I'm fan fiction? In. We didn't talk about that, VK. I'm mm. not gonna say too much about it. It's actually no spoilers. Let's keep, let's, no spoilers just yet. There's a lot of stuff to be done, uh, but it's gonna be amazing. Oh my, dude! Uh, I got lucky. I got lucky. Axis is blue. Okay, I'm on two times. I'm for, I'm forwarding to live. Are you on two times as well? I'm on two times. Okay, I'm on two times. I'm forwarding to live. I'm I'm watching Love Nest. So you gotta. I'm gonna follow the Axis primarily because they're gonna be blue on my screen. And right. so if you would follow the Allies players. That would be great. All right, let's do so. I'm paused at 45 seconds. Oh, don't pause. You gotta catch oh. up to them. Don't pause. Right. Go to two times. You gotta, you gotta stay two times until you get up to them, because they're. I'm at 110, 111, and now I'm at one time. I'm at, at 113, 114, 115. So I'm as close to live as I can possibly be right now. So if you could try to catch up to me, that would be killer. Yep. All right, I'm there. So I'll just now. I'm gonna give you a time sync. And then see if you can see if you can get in sync with me. 28, 29, 9, 30. 30. 30. All right, good enough, man. Perfect. All right, here, here we go. I'm gonna try. Okay, let me introduce the Axis players who are already fighting one another. What in the heck? They're already battling. Um, already the, a first that. shot was fired. Uh, I'm gonna introduce the Axis players. This is Love Nest who just garrisoned the church. He'll be rocking the Vermont. We got Cruzy. He's gonna be yellow on your screen. He's got the early Kubel coming out. Uh, oh boy, I'm gonna have to learn some tricks here. I think <laughs> with, um, let's see, how do I rotate these guys? Is, isn't it the brackets that rotates them? How do I rotate them? Shift bracket? How do I rotate these guys in OBS mode so I get the other commander cards? Uh, just above, right above the, um... Oh, selecting right above them left. Selecting right above their Cruises units name, for oh, So, yeah. in the baby blue, it's gonna be Marcus, and they're already just wailing on each other. And then, in the green, in the far south... Oh, Cruises Google might go down already in the south. Oh, Is he gonna save it? Is he gonna save it? Alright. The conscripts are giving chase. The they're trying to. They really want to cool them. All right, from from north to south, how about you introduce the allied players? All uh, right. So in the in right in the north on the uh, on the munitions on the on the strategic point, we have uh, von Ivan fighting it out with uh, with Lovenas uh, Volksgrenadiers. Then uh, in the middle, there's von Ivan trying to yeah, tr let's say trying to fight uh, fight off Cruz's Volksgrenadiers, but He's kind of losing because it's not a favorable engagement for him. Then in the south we got helping hold uh, two maxims already. And it's currently let's do order, let's do so. all the players though first. How about the second player uh, uh, right. on the allies in orange? That will be in OMG orange pop for me. Uh, that's correct. Yes. Let's see. And that's he's sniper pop, spamming. He's, he's sniper. Yeah, two snipers already. Holy Jesus. Two snipers and an M3. And an M3. Oh okay, boy. and then two more players to introduce. Maybe I should do it because I don't know if our colors are the same. But uh, in the purple, uh, in the third spot, nor north to south, is going to be Helping Hands. He's got an MG and a mortar out. And then finally, in the red, in the very bottom spot, is going to be Siberian. And I'm not sure where all of his units are. Where, where are Where's his stuff? <laughs> I don't think Siberian is really focusing too much on the bottom. He's uh, got USF, and now he's bringing some rifles down there. Where are all his other rifles? 
Yeah, he's, he's, uh, also, he's moving He's south supporting, now. he's supporting helping Hans, actually. Right. Right on the munitions point. Trying to flank, I guess, uh, Jezelin's MG34, 42, and it's actually working, so... If he can manage to steal an MG42 early game, that would be amazing, but... Yeah, of course, Jezelin, being a top player, he's never gonna allow that, so... I'm gonna actually Let's try to show the tactical map for a second. It always, <laughs> it always takes me a while to load, but look at the mayhem. Uh, I'm gonna go check out Pop Snipers in the north as he pushes behind, um, looks like Von Ivan's conscripts. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's quite the blob coming up. But, uh, That's a nice formation, man. Conscripts leading the way, snipers behind. I like it. Let's see, Let's see how Levinus steals with this. He's gonna retreat, that's how. The yellow player for me is Cruzy. Maybe he's going to get some support. Cruzy's got his Okabe truck parked relatively close. He did manage to save his Kubel and he's repairing it now. It's getting repaired. Oh, and looks like uh, Lovnitz got a sniper out as well. So. Lovnitz gets a sniper out. Okay, let me see if I can find that. He's on the middle There we go. Points. I got him. I got him. He's, he's, whoa, he, did he counter snipe one of Pop's snipers? Pop's uh, sniper's no, down to didn't. one now. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, no, he didn't. Sorry. Yep. So I might be a touch behind me. I'm going to try control G. That takes the shields off. Let's see. So I only get one shield at a time. That's interesting in a team game. Before, didn't it used to be two sets of shields for team uh, games? I think, I think so, yeah. They yeah. might have changed yeah, that. They must have changed it. The cool thing yeah. is when I select any unit, I get their shields. So, so Pop has three snipers now. He's coming in with the, the M3. He's trying to flank the little Poopshin that Cruz already has out. But Cruz, look how fast the Poopshin turns. Yeah, Cruz's reaction speed is like, he might even get the M3. If Bang! Them. Got it. Yeah. M3 there it down. Goes. Nice, Nicely there it rotated by Cruz. Uh, still, though, Pop is, let's have a look at his snipers. He's got two of them at the front line. One's got seven kills, and the other has four kills. Oh, my God, guys, I forgot. I can make this bigger. There, that's much better. Now you yeah. should be able to see the units and their counts and the mini-map much better. Something I always have to remi remind myself to do because it's a brand new. We've got this great scaling. The mini-map's twice the size now, Clue. Don't you love it? I, I absolutely love it. It used to be way too small, but Ruddick did a good job fixing that. Let's see. The sniper action is actually it's, it's pretty good. Pretty interesting to see. Trees, you don't you don't that often see three snipers in a single game. So. Yeah, but it's something you can get away with in a four v four. Yeah. You know, exactly. I mean, he's working behind Vaughn's conscript, so you know you can do that because no longer are you just by yourself. You're a unit with Vaughn, so Vaughn's got conscripts and maxims. And yeah, he's really Pop's trying to hold middle with the maxims. It works. Yeah. I'm Thanks sorry, I'm not uh, watching this fight in the south at all. I'm just watching the north. I'm so curious how these snipers... Oh, one of them just got mortared! Oopsie. Oh, wow, and the Love second this. squad almost gets mortared, but that's rough. The two lovely ladies of the Rodina are, are, are crawling around. Yeah. Oh, the no, other sniper it, it was barely dudes. Made it, just, it was dudes uh, that bought it. So the map seems to be turning red for me, as if the allies are doing some good capping, but the, the Axis still has all the VPs. Yeah, they're really trying to just bunker down in the middle and see what the axes can show with them. But it's gonna be pretty difficult to dislodge this position, I, I think. Unless, of course, Cruz gets a walking Stukard and just blasts everything to oblivion. But we'll have to see about that, right? We've got... Oh, here's one that... that the rifle, that, that, Here's one that snuck through our, our bands, uh, VK, the Pack Howitzer. I know this thing is a badass right now, and I don't yeah. know if it's bugged or what, but look at that, instant suppression. When it's a, quite powerful, as they say. <laughs> wow, just those two rifle needs from Lovnest. Uh, he's gonna wipe. He's gonna wipe it to Maxim Smith. Yeah, he just he just wiped to Maxim in the middle. Maxim's so. down. He will escape barely. Barely. Two snipers shooting By at him. By the skin of his teeth. Uh, oh Cruzy's wow, the fighting the fight abasement position. is just. Yeah. I think they're gonna get wow. it now. Cruzy's trying to flank the Ziskun as as well. Yeah, but he's it's only get support there. weapons there. There's no. Nothing to defend them, you know, the, the, the Zis gun and the mortar, Here, here's a nade from Cruzy, it's the flame nade, the new Okave flame nade. Oh wow, wow. and a counter mortar, notes. and the flames! Wow, oh, wow. allies losing all sorts of stuff. <laughs> oh, the that sniper just, uh, just got killed. Bob sniped him. Oh, so, uh, like down over, I think I saw that kind of in the corner of my screen, because Loveness is working in the northern area, and he was sniping from, like, by that church. He thought he was kind of protected yeah. by his MG, but yeah, I guess Pop sniped him right out of there. And the, but he's instantly building a new one, so he really uh, wants yeah. to, uh, really wants a sniper, I guess. The allies have great map control. Let me show you the tactical map again in this wild 4v4. 
I, I think I've once tried to cast a 4v4, and I knew that it would be so difficult that what I did was I just followed one player. Oh, another sniper falls. Another yeah. of Pop's snipers falls. And watch, watch Hans just plays demo charges everywhere. It's gonna be, it's gonna be amazing to see them play well. Pop Cheeky has uh, an M17 out and upgraded, and it's coming here yep. and it's trying to rip all it's those crap down the plane. It's called the Kraut Mower, this M17. What other units do we have at, at the nine minute mark that might be wow. of interest to note? Here was a little steward out from Siberian. Bob really took a beating, he's almost, he almost lost all his units, he's just got one sniper squad left. And yeah, he's trying to, he's gonna build another one to, to keep the manpower drain up, but uh, I don't know. Helping Hands had a big um, shock trooper nade in on the Axis uh, oh, wow, infantry. Yeah. Killed a whole bunch, and we got Obers a lot. Oh, but there's Obers. Marcus. Yeah, they're on their way. The M17 is still wrecking havoc. Um, Loveness is managing to retain the northern portion of the map, though. He's still got the fuel connected, and he's got the VP. But that's really all that Axes have. He's yeah, even pushing around in, onto the top right of the map. But I think, well, let's see. I thought Pop's new sniper would try to put an end to that, but the sniper's rushing forward to the front line as Pop goes for the VP. And his, his M17 is now double vet. Oh, it's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard to take out for them. Let's see. Let's see how Marcus is doing. Actually, he's been playing a relatively quiet game, I guess. But his tier four is up, and he's just building. He's just pumping out more orbs to to try and deal with the uh, with the allied infantry. But he's getting suppressed by all sorts of stuff. I think even his own uh, infantry support can just suppress them. Well, the, the pack. Oh no, it's just pack Howie. It's a pack yeah, Howie. when the pack yeah, Howie yeah. hits near you, look at that. First shot suppressed. Second Boom. shot. Pinned. So that's another unit that's borderline broken. I mean, it was on our radar, but we decided not to take any actions against it. Like, like us banning the Vickers is a huge deal. Like, we never ban a single unit, you know? But we just felt that it was too broken to allow to be in the tournament. So we try, you know, whatever we can do to not have to do that. But in this one situation, we feel that OCF will be a lot better with no crazy Vickers shooting, you know, two map lengths. And also, nobody really is forcing you to choose the British faction. I mean, if you don't feel comfortable with playing the Brits without using the Vickers, just pick one of the other two uh, allied factions. I mean, it's a bummer that we can't count out the Vickers, but yeah, I mean, we gotta, we have responsibility, and just allowing such broken units is, is, isn't a good idea. So, uh, this is the best we could do. Let's see. We got a commander. Uh, commander. Um, Hans picked this commander. I think it's shock. Um, let's see, shock frontline tactics with the IS2 and the KV8. So it's gonna be interesting. My computer is struggling with this big 4v4. I went down to like medium on graphics, and I went down to you know the lower textures. But I think I need to go down even further, uh, as uh, I'm sure I'm getting a pretty bad frame rate. So I apologize for that, guys, but we're doing our the best we can. Um, never done a big, huge 4v4, and definitely not with four players that know how to preserve their units and, you know, create, yeah, exactly. <laughs> create huge armies. Um, you know, you if you guys that have Code 2, you're welcome to go in-game, and uh, you can just listen to our voices, you know. Um, Minimize your video or put it on on uh, medium or low quality, and, and you could watch you could watch in game just like we are, and maybe figure out how to sync sync us up together. Siberian spec how we already has fed, so it's only getting it's only getting better and better. Wow. Well, he might lose his captain if he's not careful to the Obers, to Marcus's Obers. You got to tell so, me exactly yeah, where. It's, it's in the middle, right in the oh, middle. Oh, there! Of, uh, wow! What, below the, whoa, he just what a lost snipe his from range, right? Wow. And they dropped yeah. their Zook. Indeed. I wonder if they the Obers will try to grab it. I personally not get a bazooka on my Obers, but maybe on his uh, on his Volks or anything. I don't know. His infantry support gun neatly placed uh, at this tier two or tier one. That is uh, what's it called? Battle group headquarters, so it instantly heals even when it's taking damage. It's pretty deadly if you just if you if you have a pretty forward battle group headquarters up and just place an IG there. And I just believe that a huge demo demo charge went off in, um, at the middle VP. I think, or something got wiped anyway. 
Yeah, uh, flamethrower was dropped at the middle VP. The middle's grown a bit quiet. We still got this like double sniper action in the north between OMG Pop and Love Nest. That's been a running theme. You know, the M17 has 10 kills and double vet. Um, yeah, the Pupshin of Cruz kind of went up there to try to deal with the M17, but they weren't able to pick it off. He got sniped out too quick, and now they might try to get back on it. And uh, but uh, but Pop's got the combined arms, man. The snipers and the M17. Both Love Nest and Cruzy can't find a way through. There was this funny little drama where Love Nest was chasing a Maxim of Von Ivans, <laughs> and Von yeah. Ivans beat him to the church. Did you see that? Indeed, indeed. Watch, watch as Love Nest sniper goes. What's he gonna do with it? Try and snipe, snipe the Zizz gun over here? I don't know. Yeah, he wants to kill the it's, sniper, surely. Yeah. I mean, they need to watch out because the M17 is so close to it. Like, oh nah, man, what's this? He's not gonna get it. Is this propaganda uh, going? Yeah, that's propaganda. Propaganda already. So, like, let me drop some defense on you guys. Get Fear out propaganda from Terror Tactics. Terror Tactics, man. The sniper is still in the game. The sniper is still there. Oh boy, we might see a oh, counter wow. snipe by Love Nest. This would be super pro if they pull gonna, it off. Oh, it would be amazing. I, does he have sight actually? Because I think the uh, the bush is quite obstruct his view for a sniper. I don't know. I don't know. But I don't. I don't try. dare hit any more keys like Fog of War and so forth. Surely he can see the one now. Could, Come on, could, Love yeah. Nest, get him! Come on, get, get it. him, Love Nest! Do it! Do it! Fire yeah, he got away. him. Oh wow! Instant retreat. Yeah. Wow. He nailed it. He, he got it. Nailed. What a nice counter snipe. To, to be able to pull that off in the, the mania that is this 4v4 is most <laughs> impressive. Most impressive. You know, I thought the allies were kind of dominating, but perhaps the Axis can claw their way yeah, back in a bit. The Axis are slowly crawling back, I think. It's really, it's, it's got to be important not to let those, uh, those, those trucks, those OKW trucks get into range of the pack howies because otherwise it's going to be very, very difficult to come back. When your, uh, your tier 1 is getting bombed instantly and constantly, it's going to be so hard to... Uh, to keep your units alive, get them back to the field and, and stuff. So, and OMG I think Siberian is slowly a, crawling. So, oh, MG Pop has a KV1. Let's just see what's going down down here in the south. Siberian is the USF player, so when you see any USF units, you know they're his. He's got the 19 kills on that one pack Howitzer. He's being protected by helping hands. Ooh, he's built he this gun. Before, as well. before it goes off, do where? Oh, wow. I think uh, in the north, just below, uh, just below oh, wow. Cruz's uh, tier four. He's firing on the back. I think the back and the MG4. There it is! I got, I got it almost accidentally. It did too much <laughs> damage, you know. There was a lot of stuff there that it could have killed, but it didn't. Yeah. So maybe the allies uh, didn't Most quite get what they expected. Already. I wonder if this demo will go off. Cruz is about to walk right over it. Yeah, oh man, there's gonna be a plane point, crash. But... There it was. A huge plane crash. I'm getting like 12 frames a second. I apologize, you guys. But uh, yeah, streaming and this big, huge 4v4 yeah, is putting my rig to the test. I will be sure to uh, try to lower my settings a bit. Well, Loveness did build the howitzer there, so he's, he's currently bombarding the, uh, the oh, Maxim. Yeah. The Maxim uh, just below the VP. Wow, he's getting good hits, actually. You know, this. this I just thought that you know, even if even if I totally fail to bring you this action as a as a caster, which I feel like I'm doing, it's just so hard to follow and with my frame rate. But I feel like I don't, I can't move the camera that much. Um, at least you know there'll be an epic replay, and you guys can oh, yeah. you know adjust the settings to your machine and go in and check it out. But uh, you better do it before Wednesday, because maybe after Wednesday you won't be able to watch it anymore. People could always like recast this for their YouTube channels, you know. Indeed, indeed. Oh, we got a command tank engaging the shocks on uh, the southern, southern ministry school. Yeah, Sorry, I'm right with that action. Oh. And he's he's going to find the KV-1 next. He did lose his pack though, so he's got to watch out for the KV-1. Uh, oh my god. What? So the beef... Another big shot. Oh man, they, they overkilled that thing. Not only did the, the B4 <laughs> shoot at it, but the uh, they dropped incendiary on it as well. Yeah. They really Ooh. wanted that. They really, really oh wanted that. God, look that. at all this stuff. So, so it's so OMG Pop has two B4s, and and this one. Let's see, which one's more forward? So, yeah, they, they're just kind of in a line along this road. This road that kind of circles hill is really important. Snipers, B4s, KB1. Oh wow! The command tank is just wreaking havoc. Uh, just uh, at the bunker in the middle of the map. Wow. He's, ba he's backed up by a Yacht Panzer 4 now. Yeah. Man, I would not want to be a pilot 
ordered oh, to fly oh. over this battlefield. Wow. So I love this structure. I'm just looking at this, the center of Hill 400. Um, I don't know if this was a model that, that Monolithic Bacon just found in the game file somehow, but this is this beautiful structure with all this exposed rebar. And it's as it's if, really you know, it was a bigger concrete bunker, but it's just been destroyed or perhaps not completed. And it's just great looking with the searchlights. And, you know, you you know there's going to be action here because this thing is the backdrop for the center VP. And the cool thing is you could actually garrison it. Um, when we when the map, when this map was first showcased, um, I also played on it. And you could, I could actually just garrison my uh, my, uh, my Volks in, um, into the bunker. So it's really cool. It's a really nifty idea. At first I thought it was like a bug or something, but you could just, yeah, just pop your folks into there. And, yeah. Man, maybe we should just watch this on the tactical map. Look at this, you guys. It's total craziness. We've got like dozens of squads fighting and retreating and new new units coming on. You can, you can see a KVA just killed something on the mini-map. That's, uh, that's Helping Hands. He's got a KVA. This Yeg Panzer is trying to find an angle on him down in the uh, south. We haven't shown much action in the south yet. He might, he might get the KVA though. Oh no, 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 no. There's, uh, that's just co covering it. He needs to watch out so that he don't lose it. You know, Han Hansi well, is practicing got, we got a Jackson, map a bunch. We got a Jackson rolling in. The Siberian's got a Jackson. I'm just really trying to get the GP4. Cartouche's up. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, Here it is. Mid -VP. Mid -VP. Here it is. Oh. No, wait. What? Mid VP? Just yeah, mid -VP. Oh, it cloaked. It just disappeared. Yeah, Siberian. Yeah, Siberian. Oh, he's trying get to it. kill the the Yug Panzer. Here comes the Jackson. There, there's a shot. It's almost down. He's gonna get it. Cruzy maybe got a little deep. A little deep old. Wow, almost the nade on the MG. Here comes all the Allied infantry. It cloaked, oh wow, though. Sip, Sip lost his Jackson. Ooh, the smoke drop. Wow, amazing. I don't know if we're in sync. I'm at 20, think, 07, yeah. 08, 09. Are you ahead of me? I'm. 10 seconds out of here. Maybe so, you should pause for like 10 seconds. Yep. I'll keep counting. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And there, what killed the Jackson? I saw it explode. Somehow Cruzy's Jagdpans are still up. Can you believe this? Cruzy got unbelievably lucky, but the smoke drop really saved the, really saved the day for Cruzy's Jagdpans. But look, look at all the infantry just chilling in front of it. And all the infantry getting wiped as well. How long will this Jagdpanzer oh, remain wow. alive? I can't believe it. I can't look away from it. The shocks are going after it. That's not the, the right counter. Oh, but there comes the KV-1. Here oh, we go. Pop will pop pop do the deal. Pop will finish. Oh, what? Wow, nobody can oh, kill this the, thing. Oh, Jesus. How Dude, long will it take? Oh, Pop's more smoke. His whole army. More smoke <laughs> to try to save it. Oh, that's Love Nest dropping smoke to try to save his teammates. Wow. JP4, that's man. Amazing. The, that's the drama amazing of this now. thing. Finally, wow. it falls. Finally, goes that. Wow. Just, just amazing, really. How, how Love Nest really tried to keep Cruzy's ass. Uh, that was JP4 nice. There's a lot of smoke teamwork smoke going on nice. between them. What do we have an off map, off map on these poops? It's an incendiary round from one of the shock rifle commanders. <laughs> Uh, it really shows how good these players just are, you know, the synergy between them is just amazing and it's really to the testament about just how, how, how great at this game they are. Man, I'm jealous. Who, who are some of the star units? Here's uh, Pop S Sniper Squad with 27, his M17 has 13 kills, triple vet. Uh, we got a little uh, Infanterie Geschütz from Cruz with 9 kills, and double vet. Uh, let's see, what's Love Nest got? He's got a I triple back red squad. They're reinforcing Marcos in the base. Double, uh, Marcos ISG already has 18 kills and it just keeps on hammering down everything that appears in the mid. It's trying His to get the uh, the Maxim that's currently stationed on the, on the middle VP, so... Yeah, wow. 18 kills on that. He's got some vetted Obersoldaten that are also trying to fight their way up the hill. Actually, they're in the south. And now he's they're got... Wow, he's got a panther as well. That's Oh, cool. all of a sudden the panther appeared. Wow. Oh, hello, panther. What's up? <laughs> Man. And he's just gonna wipe a lot of things with his double double overs. They just the, the longer you keep them in the game, the just, they just become insane. So uh, that, if, that if Marcus looks can damn keep good these, baby these blue. Alive, let's see. Yeah, Marcus put together a push. Panther. He's capping him off of the uh, of the ammo, and that's pretty important. Yeah. You know, as the game gets later and all the abilities are unlocked, uh, your ammo pool you can really wreak havoc with with 
um, ammo. You can see, you know, Jeslin's got light artillery. Marcus has got assault artillery. And we haven't talked I, I much about Jeslin. How's he been doing? Let's have a look at him for a second. Jeslin has got a couple of shoots. He's, he's currently working his way upwards uh, uh, down the south. He's trying. He's probably gonna flank the two Ziz guns. Wow, he's these. pushing. The Axis totally took the south, and now they're actually pushing towards the base. Wow. So yeah. there's a t just ton of pressure on Hansi and Siberian. And I don't know where they're microing, but they've got two Ziz guns that are kind of hung out to dry and way yeah, too far indeed. forward. Jeslin is just gonna wreck him with his 2 I think, if, 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 if he's not careful. He might... No, no, he just dropped him, so... He might, he might go after might, Siberian. Might even lose, he might even lose the back Howie. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, there's an off-map on that. They want the yep. back Howie down. They want the back Howie bad. That's yeah. Jeslin's off-map. It's still alive, but it's I don't alive. think for much longer. Oh, wow, yeah, there it goes. It's down. Spoiler alert. <laughs> it's gonna fall. You're still ahead of me. I'm at I'm at 23:42, and there it just finally falls. So maybe pause and wait like 10 seconds for me. So vet removed. Jeslin does lose one of his stubs though. Let's look at the middle. We still have Pop with his KV army. Two KV ones and one KV eight fighting in the middle. He's still got a sniper alive. And it looks like Ivan's got a KV eight. No, it's Ivan's KV eight. He's got Ivan's got two KV eights. KV eights. And Pop's got two KV ones. That's so badass looking, really. I, I don't know if I've ever seen the game to this extent. You know, I just love what these players are doing with their armies. It's so much fun. Whoa, that uh, Pupchen of Cruz just took out uh, lead KV. They're going to back out a bit. The allies have the center VP and the top VP. The Axis are down to 65 VPs, VK. They're really into that shot. There's another big four shot into the trees. You can see the smoke falling. My frame rate is just terrible. <laughs> I need to go even lower than this. It does look great though. If like if you screenshot it, it would look cool. Siberian's gonna try to pick off another one of uh, Jeslin's Stugs. He succeeds. But you know the pressure now is really about the VPs. The axes are down to 60 while we've been having all this fun, and there are, there are still KVs getting repaired. It's going to be on Jeslin and Cruzy to make a push. I, I see Loveness flirted with yeah, the Northern Loveness. VP, but the yeah, M17 is there. Yeah, the M17 that ain't happening. It, so bring some Pops, to fight. Yeah, Pops M17 is tasked to guard. Okay, they're starting to drop everything on the center. We got a Katusha rounds coming oh. in. Axis really want this center VP. They're down to 50. If they can stop the drain, they might be able to extend it this and be. make it a real contest. Oh, wow. VP what happened? Just fired, but, uh, he's Von Ivan just dropping more and more uh, fear propaganda artillery to keep everybody back from the uh, oh, I missed it entirely. Marcus is going to try to push up with Obers, but a colossal shot from OMG Pops KV8 kills three dudes, and both squads of Obers are going to retreat. So wow. it doesn't look like the center VP is is possible. Now, finally, Nothing. the counter to the M17 is coming north. He sent the command tech. That's Jeslin. If he can kill that M17, look how it, it puts overdrive on and tries to jet behind the trees. That's OMG Pop's famous micro. If only yeah. Axis can send a unit north, they'd be able yeah, to stop the drain that fast. Yeah, link up with, uh, yeah, and it's, 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 sadly, Loveness is not following it up with any, uh, with any infantry. I mean, Look at that he pop might. micro. Look at that M17 hiding from the P4 command tank. <laughs> Here comes the infantry. Here comes. He will go there for the go. cap. Okay, that, that zip is cleared. Here. Okay, Getting 39. Up, yeah, the, the capping is beginning. Yep. So Jeslin's going to be tasked to hold that center VP. He's only got a, you know, like a AT gun and some, and one MG down there. Here come the tanks. They want to stop oh, it. Wow. Loveness is forced out of the capping circle. Oh, he really wants to kill this M17. He found it, now he wants to kill it. It's all, yeah, there it goes. That thing. Finally, it's down. There it goes, yeah. VP's at 35, suddenly an SU 76 there. Oh, what? Shock Troopers yeah. there, a T gun. Uh, the command, Zis. the command tank. Where, where, is, where is Loveless command tank? Wow, look at it getting out of there. Right in the nick of time, because otherwise the SU 76 would have just completely destroyed um, his command tank. He's still chasing smoke. it, though. Pop's still chasing. Through the smoke, yeah. Oh yeah. He won't oh, find wow. him, but it doesn't matter because the VPs are down to 35 and now the allies are raising it. They've got, uh, oh, Von Ivan's got a Maxim up there. They're even working on the the, the bottom VP. Siberian's they, they, capping it. Looks like the center VP is going to stick white for a second. We got two white VPs and one belonging to the allies. So the Axis are still on the drain and it's going to be really tough for them to stop it before 32 ticks out.
I love that slow and MG42 tries to counter an enormous blob of units uh, on the North VP, but eventually he's being forced out. So. Yeah, Von wow. Ivan's entire army is sitting on that VP. He owns it and he ain't letting it go. It looks like Marcus. Axis are gonna have yeah. to try somewhere else. Yeah, Marcus is making a push for the center with his Panther Wait, and his Ogre. He's got, he's he's got to be really an all-in competition as well, so he should be able to deal with his Maxim uh, rather quickly by just because his Ogres are there and just gonna gonna laugh with the, the Maxim. So if he can cap the mid VP now and if he can connect, yeah, but now he's got up, off maps coming. You know it. There's yeah, fear propaganda. There he goes. Von Ivan, Von Ivan being vigilant. Yeah. Von Ivan holding the north and the middle with the with his abilities. MVP. Okay. Uh, there's still okay five. Whoa, they <laughs> look at that. The oh. center VP just explodes. <laughs> Only five minutes wow. left. Marcus is still gonna go stand in the circle, and the flags are gonna start moving. But wow. that's gonna be it. GG. Wow. Allies win, man. They just push through and get that drain out. What in a 28 game. minutes and four seconds. Holy smoke. Maybe we can go through and just check out some of the units. Let's let's give a little star portrait to everybody's most vetted unit. Cruz, he didn't wind up with much. I mean, but that's what happens when you lose on VPs. You want your army to be dead because that means yeah. you threw everything you had at the enemy. Uh, he's yeah. got he's got one bulk squad here. He lost most of his vetted stuff. Um, we got He did manage Nest. to bring a Sturm Tiger to the field. Sadly, yeah, that was an amazing drama. Much, or... or Wait, a Sturm Tiger? Where? Yeah, oh, Cruz, he got wow. a Sturm up Look at that. It, My he goodness. tried to wipe the blob, I guess, but uh, OMG pop or Yeah, no, Van Ivan saw it coming and just just scooted out of there. But it did get four kills eventually. But mm, yeah, it's sad we didn't see more of, uh, of the Sturm Tiger. The, the drama with Cruzy's uh, Jagdpanzer Fear was one of my yeah. favorite parts. Um, Love Nest has still got vetted uh, infantry, but... You know, he just kept getting sent away, and he was never able to get that center VP. His, his artillery piece um, oh, managed wow. to get 29 kills. kills and triple vet. Uh, we can look down at um, Marcus. Uh, he, he, we saw his drama in the center. He wound up with some four vet Grens. They had the flag about a quarter of the way down before the game ended. He had, uh, you know, there's some retreating over Salat in here. Um, he definitely gave a good fight in the south, but perhaps maybe he should have gone a little Perhaps more all in. Perhaps supported mid or something. A bit. I don't know. Uh, yeah. And then finally, Jeslin wound up uh, rotating all the way south. And he ha and he held the south VP for a while. But then he he looks was... like he's in full retreat at the end. Okay, he allies, was... real quick. Von Ivan was purple. He had a, a bunch of stuff. He had a big army at the end that, <laughs> that held that northern VP against Jeslin's final push. That was his success. Um, let's see. OMG Pop. What a game he played. Double snipers. That M17 microing away from the P4 was so much fun. His KV1s were big uh, meat shields in the center. Uh, he wound up with three B4s at the end. All of them picked up a bit of vet. Oh, he made a, he made a third one? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty insane. <laughs> and here we have Helping Hands. We saw some nice micro from him. Uh, he also was rocking a KV-8. You can see it in a showdown with the Panther yep. at the very end, Marcus's Panther. He had a Katusha that wasn't all that effective. And then we have Siberian. His best unit was surely the, the Pack Howitzer, but sir. we saw Jeslin yeah. take that out. And he's got some Sadly. triple vet rifles here. Uh, this one has 11 kills. Okay, good game. Our first All-Star Show match, uh, 4v4, is in the books. We can chalk one up for the allies that's the war penguins they're up one to zero this is a best of three ladies and gentlemen uh i'm gonna go to a break right quick be sure to lower all my settings and hopefully we can get a better frame rate for you guys in game number two any word before we go to the break klug if the next game is going to be as exciting as this one, I think uh, we're in for a ride. Let's see how many people are in chat right now. Probably a lot. Uh, so yeah, they're going to have a good time with the next game. This is really what happens. This kind of game you just get when, when all the top players just meet up in one big clash. And it was just it was amazing. So here's to the next game. All right. We're going to a break, guys. We'll be back in a couple minutes with game two of the All-Star match. See you in a second.